Welcome to, like I said, Transform My World, New Orleans. We have been doing a series on the lifestyle of prayer, and today's part or step number four, which is announcing the kingdom. We're going to look at the four steps. We're going to focus on this fourth step. And at the end, we're going to look at how, what are the implications for each one of us, and then be activated in what to do in becoming prayer evangelists, but announcing the kingdom. We're going to look at that closer. So y'all ready to get into the teaching? Yes, that was a unanimous yes. So let's look at uh, prayer evangelism, the biblical basis of prayer evangelism. We've been going over this for a number of weeks, but we can never get enough of scripture, huh? It says in Luke 10, verse five, whatever house you enter, first say, peace be on to this house. And so we say it right now, we speak peace over our city, over our region, over all the houses that you all are in right now. And we say, may peace, the shalom of heaven, be to this house. And then Jesus has said, and remain in that same house, eating and drinking what they provide. It's fellowshipping, right? For the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. And whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you. Then it says, heal the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. Some translations say the kingdom of God is what? At hand. It is close. We know that we know that um, when we say the kingdom of God, let me. Well, the four step process is one to bless with peace, right? We release peace onto the place, wherever we are, wherever we go, business, home, guest somewhere. Then we begin to what? Build a relationship or we begin to fellowship. We start making connections with those that we interact with. Then, number three, we meet their needs as best we can, physically, spiritually. And then number four, and it's strategically placed by Jesus in teaching this method, is to announce the kingdom of God is at hand. It somewhat takes for granted that they've already experienced the kingdom of God on some level, and you're just articulating what they've experienced. When you bless with peace, you change the spiritual atmosphere, you start to build loving relationship, and you meet their needs physically or spiritually, they've already encountered the kingdom, and then at that point, you do what? You let them know what they've experienced, or you announce that the kingdom of God is at hand. Let's look at announcing the kingdom. What does it mean to announce? Announce means to break silence and to make a formal statement about a fact or an occurrence or an intention. So whenever you announce something, you're basically having a voice, right? And you're making a statement about something that's happening or something that you intend to happen or an occurrence that's happening. So it's basically sharing a, sharing a fact with others by using what? Using your voice. When we talk about uh, different examples, if we think about how are things announced to us today, they're a bit different than they were 2,000 years ago when Jesus walked the earth. Then now we have what? News. You sit down and you watch a, a TV and there make announcements all the time. It's often bad news, as we know. Remember when the, the virus just started breaking out 
And it was a big thing every night to report how many more people died, how many more people got sick. It was like an announcement. It certainly wasn't announced in the kingdom, or maybe the, the kingdom of darkness was being announced, but it was being broadcasted. One voice was broadcasting and perhaps going into 400, 500, uh, 600,000 homes. One voice going into all that. Newspapers. How many, it's not as popular as it was when I was growing up, but uh, newspapers were going into so many different homes. It was an infiltration that was going into homes through, through uh, paper, right? But what is the way people announce things today? One of the main mediums is social media. What's extraordinary about social media is that conceivably, you or I could do a video uploaded and it could be seen by millions of people from every corner of the earth. Just think about that for a second. You could do a five minute video uploaded on YouTube. And it could go viral and a million people could see that one video in Korea, in South Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in South America, Central America, United States, Canada. That one five minute video that cost how much for you to do that, your time, didn't cost any money. You uploaded, and it could literally go around the world. It's an extraordinary thing uh, when we when we come to this this thing of social media. We'll talk a little bit about it later. And typically, the other way we announce things is what is through uh, at business or personal interaction. Right? It's just a one on one deal. Now I could do the five minute talk with Donald and it's Donald and I, and we're just chatting and it could impact Donald. He could receive it. I could share a kingdom story with him and it'll impact one person. And maybe he'll tell somebody else it might impact too, but just think about it. That that same story could be uploaded on social media that same five minute, five minute story can impact a million people. It's just extraordinary. So we say announcement, and then we say, what are we announcing? The kingdom. What does it mean, the kingdom? Well, there's a lot of different definitions, but kingdom means the realm of superior authority, the higher ruler. Or another way of saying the kingdom is the breaking of the supernatural into the natural. The kingdom is the breaking of the supernatural into the natural. So Donald gave a good example that the child was diagnosed with possibly uh, Down syndrome or something, which is in the natural. But what we are rallying together for is to have a supernatural intervention to where whatever the doctors are picking up would be reversed. And as that happens, the story of that becomes a kingdom story because there was a breaking of the supernatural into the natural. And I'm sure I could sit down and give everybody a chance here to talk about an experience or a time or God using you where the supernatural broke through into the natural and transformed it. And you had truly a kingdom experience or the superior authority, the higher rule broke through into the natural. Really, we're part of a team that regardless of how hopeless any situation is, there's always the possibility of the supernatural inbreaking. 
into the natural. Now that's the good news. So let's go a little deeper into announcing the kingdom. Well, what are some examples of that? Uh, answered prayer. We pray and the prayer is answered. The manifestation of it, that's the kingdom in breaking. It could be a supernatural healing. And Aranda has a lot of testimonies of supernatural healing. I remember the first time I met Bob. I met Bob at the healing rooms. And it was a room set up there in the parish. And there was supernatural inbreaking of healings that were occurring all the time. It could be a financial miracle. It could be a relationship that was restored. It could be someone just having a God encounter, just like we were praying for the youth in our city, especially the ones that are in the spirit of rebellion, to have godly encounters tonight in their sleep. Those are all examples of inbreaking of the kingdom into the natural. It could be personal or corporate. And we've had manifestations, those who have been around Transform My World New Orleans long enough, that we've seen God breaking through, not only on a personal level, but on a corporate level, and doing things again for our entire city. So we're representatives of this kingdom, of the superior supernatural kingdom breaking into the natural. Now, how do we announce the kingdom today? We can do it through in a relationship, right? It could be a family relationship. We can announce it through a friendship, coworker, a client, a social interaction. And those are most often the ways that we're most often associate with announcing the kingdom. The kingdom can also be announced through good works. The kingdom is announced by proactively loving behavior. Practicing Matthew 25, right? When I was hungry, you gave me food. Thirsty, you gave me drink. I was in prison, you came and visited me. All those practical behaviors that Jesus talks about in Matthew 25, practicing those good works is announcing the kingdom. Or another way of saying that is random acts of kindness. You know, Holly Kim is uh, really good at this. Uh, we have these Honduran workers that have been putting up a fence around our whole apartment, I mean, our condo association. And Holly Kim goes out there when it was cold the other day with hot chocolate and cookies, gives them out. And it was a random act of kindness. They were not expecting it. She went out today, gave them snacks, gave them something to drink. Look, those guys are going an extra mile for us. <laughs> They're doing work that we haven't even asked them to do. But it's an example of through a simple, random act of kindness is announcing the kingdom. So we can do it in a relationship. It can be announced through good works. It can be done through a testimony. And a testimony is telling the story of supernatural interventions. You know, uh, Donald said, in praying for this child, he said, you know, I've, I've experienced it before. I've seen it. I've had it with, I think he mentioned his own child. Like the story of the supernatural intervention is part of his testimony. It could be a miraculous healing, personal testimony, restored relationship. But those are ways of what? Announcing the kingdom today. You know, and we'll get into it a little later. Each one of you all has a story that you're different today than you were yesterday or years ago because of supernatural intervention. I'm trying to remember how I heard it. It was really good. It says, My best ministry is rooted in ministering to people who are like I used to be. My best ministry, my testimony is rooted in ministering to people who are like I used to be. Say, oh, I used to be addicted to drugs and I 
and I broke free from that. Well, do you know my best place of ministry is ministering to those who are stuck in that addiction? Think about your own story of areas of struggle that you've overcome, and that becomes a target for your best ministry. Think of the places that you were tested most, and as God has worked with you and grace has moved into you, then that test has become what? Your testimony. And what's released in you is an anointing to be able to not only have victory in that area for yourself, but you have the ability to release victory to others to experience the same thing. Yeah, that's good news. So the testimony is one of the primary ways and one of the high, big ways that you can announce the kingdom to others. And number four, as I've alluded to, is we need to get on the bandwagon of social media. I'm not saying spend all day on, on social media. But that's how you can announce the kingdom today. Like, for example, use Rhonda for an example. She usually gives a report after she feeds the homeless on Thursday evening. And she gives a report of significant stories that are appropriate to share, of significant occurrences. And it becomes a place of inspiration. It becomes a place of telling the good news. It becomes a place of announcing the kingdom. And it starts to impact people in many different ways and probably in many ways that we don't even realize. You know, Holly, Kim, and I both have been learning about YouTube and doing a YouTube channel. And as I've learned about it, I realize that we can, you, myself, could release a YouTube video and the Lord could breathe on it and anoint it. And it could literally go around the world and meet people in their homes, in their bedrooms. It can meet someone in, in Ireland when they wake up at 2.30 in the morning because they can't sleep. They turn on their YouTube, on their telephone, and, this, and your five-minute video passes through them, uh, through their feed, and it changes their life forever. Possible. So we looked at LinkedIn, we look at Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. All those are different medias that can actually can be used to bring and announce the kingdom all over the world. And the question is, how are you doing that? And what is God calling you to do? So let's look at Jesus announcing the kingdom. Do you know kingdom, the word kingdom is mentioned in the Gospels 120 times. Salvation, which we tend to major in, is only mentioned seven times in the Gospel. And literally, the word gospel is mentioned 13 times. If kingdom is 120 times, as important as salvation is, as important gospel is, Look how many times more the kingdom was mentioned than the other two words. I would say that it's very important and we need to understand what it is, right? Jesus started his ministry in Mark. He says, now after John was arrested, Jesus came into a galley proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Jesus announced at the very beginning of his ministry, what? That the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That was so foundational. And he just declared it. He declared it at the very beginning, perhaps like you and I, they may have not understood exactly what they meant. 
And so how did they start to learn what the kingdom of heaven meant was that hand was that they started to experience what the supernatural interventions in the natural. And that gave them the idea of what this means. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. In Matthew 6, Jesus mandated that we pray what? Your kingdom come, your heavenly realm come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So he says the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And then he turns around and says, okay, Bob, okay, Mama Kelly. My mandate is to you is to start bringing the kingdom to earth. And the way you do it is to ask the father to start breaking in. To bring his kingdom. Maybe we need to start collectively and individually say, Lord, may your kingdom come here in New Orleans, here in my neighborhood, here in our city as it is in heaven. We've been given the uh, invitation. He modeled it at the very beginning of his ministry. In Matthew 10, 5, when he sent out the 12, the 12 Jesus sent out instructing them. And he goes on to say, and proclaim as you go saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Then he explains, what does it mean for the inbreaking of heaven to break into earth, and then he says, this is how it is. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. How will you know the kingdom of heaven is at hand? Radical healings, raising the dead, cleansing lepers, and demons are being cast out. Jesus announced the kingdom in Matthew 12. He said, listen what he says. But if it is by the spirit of God that I cast out demons, they cast out demons. Then the kingdom of heaven has come upon you. How will you know the kingdom of heaven has come upon you? Demons are cast out. What does it mean when demons are cast out? The kingdom of heaven has come upon you. Jesus is explaining to us that the influence, the manifestation of demons, it's not just uh, a demon coming out of a person's body. It could be. But it's more, I think, for us, the manifested influence of demons in people's lives, in their homes, in their neighborhoods, in their cities. And when, when that influence leaves, we know that the kingdom of God has come upon you. In Matthew 16, Jesus takes it another level. Listen to what he says, not only to Peter, but I believe he's saying it to you right now. I will give you Donald, I will give you, James, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I will give you the ability to unlock the kingdom of heaven and to bring it here on earth, just like I have done. I will give you right now the keys to bring the realm of heaven, the kingdom of heaven here on earth. And he goes on to explain to Peter, but explaining to you. And whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Look, Jesus announced the kingdom. And then he started spending the rest of his ministry in transform transferring that authority and that ability to you and to me. And then, of course, in Luke 10, which we've studied during this series, he says, heal the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of heaven has come near to you. How do you know the kingdom of heaven has come near? Because the sick were healed. 
It's a show and tell, and it's a tell and show. It's a show and tell, and it's a tell and show. It's not just a tell. It's we tell and we show the kingdom. We show the kingdom, and then we tell the kingdom. So what are the implications? Number one, the charge is the same for you and I. Announce the kingdom. The method has changed some. And we must adopt to change our method. And what I mean by that is that the story of the inbreaking of the supernatural into the natural is the same. But what are the ways that we announce it today? It's like who, when you watch the evening news, who has the greater influence, evil or good? <laughs> what is God calling you to do in the ways that things get announced today? And what is the method that he wants you to adapt to in order to announce the kingdom? Number two. You have kingdom, you have kingdom authority. Say, I have kingdom authority in any area that you used to be and now have victory and spiritual fruit. You have kingdom authority in area, any area that you used to be. Think about one of your biggest struggles in the past that you've overcome by working it out with God, that you have victory in, and that's an area you have kingdom authority in that you can help others break free. I, I had a hard time healing from a broken relationship that was very important to me, and I was devastated by it. And then... God healed my heart in that area. Well, now you have kingdom authority in that area to help others break free in that area. It's so important to know that, that you have so much more authority in certain areas than I would propose that you're, you're claiming right now. That you have fruit, that you've experienced uh, some level of victory. And now God says, you have authority in that area. Use it in your testimony and heal people in that very same area because you have been given kingdom authority. Make sense? All right, number three, you have been given the keys of the kingdom, which means you have the grace to unlock its manifestations. Each one of you all have been given the keys of the kingdom. And you have been given grace to unlock its manifestation. Number four, you must use technology, the internet, social media, Zoom, like we are tonight, to announce the kingdom. To announce the kingdom. And number five, the kingdom of heaven is here. Access it. Yeah, access it. So this is our activation. I want you to right now ask the Holy Spirit, who are you sending me to announce the kingdom of heaven? Or another way of saying it, practicing prayer evangelism. Ask the Holy Spirit, who in my life right now, who in my sphere of influence, are you sending me to announce the kingdom of heaven or to practice prayer evangelism? Moses gave a good example of tonight. It's, uh, it's talking about a young, young girl who didn't do well in her accounting exam that he was talking to. And he started getting some victory in the area of dealing with anxiety. And he was able to minister to her and pass on to her some of the things that she's learned. 
but I would call that announcing the kingdom of heaven. Connecting her to God, praying for her, telling her to pray, and giving her some of the strategies. Number two, ask the Holy Spirit right now, how do you want me to use social media to announce the kingdom? It could be like Mama Kelly does, you know, God loves you. And it's just a post. How, Holy Spirit, how do you want me to use social media to announce the kingdom? Just ask right now. And number three, what is one testimony or supernatural intervention that I can share with other people? Think about your story. I think about, you know, Rhonda, Rhonda goes out with the leading the homeless. And there was a time when Rhonda was probably shy about praying for healing, praying for people that needed uh, healing prayer. And so she got trained up. She overcame uh, any fears that she had, started having manifestations. Now she has certain boldness and naturalness to praying for miracles and actually getting them, seeing manifestations. But that's an area of victory. So now that's part of her testimony. And she can pass that same boldness to those that may be timid and doing the same thing. And bringing them along. Like, what is an area of victory of what you used to be, but you no longer are, that you've had manifestations? That's part of your testimony. And that's part of the supernatural intervention that you can pass on because you have an anointing in that area. All right. There we go. So we're going to take just a second to, to give, if you'd like to give tonight, to Voice of the Kingdom, Venmo, Voice of the Kingdom, PayPal, Voice of the Kingdom, um, hyphen New Orleans, or you can go to voiceofthekingdom.org. And what I want you to do, let me stop sharing. So. We, if you decide to give, you know, we want to thank you for that, that uh, we're just learning a whole new rhythm of church, but we still do have some expenses. And um, so I just want to bless your giving and thank you for that. 